Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. As you can tell on today's title, we are jumping on to one of our ultimate favorite videos, which is another clothing haul. But this time we are doing a nasty gal haul itself. So if you guys are interested in watching what pieces I bought, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and also stay tuned. But a quick disclaimer to all of my viewers, um, if you guys are interested in wanting to know the rules for the giveaway that I did mention a couple of videos ago, I will be mentioning all the rules and how it works at the end of the video. So if you guys are wanting to enter, excited about it, go ahead and stay tuned. And also don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, so the first thing we're jumping into is going to be some of the basic pieces that I got. So the very first one, it's going to be this ripped white halter top t-shirt. And honestly, I'm surprised when I received it. It's pretty long compared to what I saw online. It kind of looked like a crop top online, but now that I have it in person, it's more like the longer halter top. So I would definitely either tuck this in and pair it with some mom jeans, maybe some boots. And on the back, it has like the little crisscross, kind of see-through-ish, but I mean, you can never go wrong with the basic halter top. Now jumping into some long sleeves, um, I got this white basic oversized crew neck, and I think what got me on this crew neck was because it kind of looked like a little turtleneck on the model itself, so that kind of gave you like a edgy look, even though it's not edgy on this basic white crew neck but I mean you could always wear this however you like to and I kind of like it because it kind of gives me enough space to just pair it however I wish to so I want to just up and leave without having to like be rushed to get ready I could just put this with some nice possibly fox leather pants some boots or even sneakers itself um, and then just pair it with a bunch of accessories just to like kind of make it a little little non-basic you know but this is the cop so the third item that i got was going to be this satin white colored top and it's definitely buttoned down from the bottom it has the balloon sleeves as well which for sure got me on buying it it's not as satin as i thought it would have been just because i purchased satin tops from them before and it literally looks silky satin but this is just like a like a neutral like satin but it's a nice top you could definitely wear them up with paired up with like a bell some mom jeans and boots again and here we go to one of my favorite categories which is going to be fox leather tops so i've recently gotten like a black fox leather top like this already um, but once I saw the brown one, I'm like, I must get the brown one. Like, there's something about leather and brown that I'm so into lately. And then this one's like an oversized top. It has those huge marble buttons in the front. Pockets on the front as well. And obviously it's open. And this I got in a size 4, even though it was literally the last one. Like, everything leather on their website and like... If I haven't mentioned, or if you guys haven't like been on the Nasty Gal website, it's super cheap, affordable. They literally have discounts all the time. I think when I had it, it was like 70% off. So that's like such a good deal. Like, especially when they had like super overpriced prices before. If you guys shop previously when they didn't have like the whole little sale going on. But this is such a nice item. Okay. And I'm gonna have to say for sure my fave fave favorite ultimate picks that i've purchased and this i literally had it like open like i had the window open on my phone for so long just because it's been sold out for so 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 long um one size came up and i'm like i don't care it's not my size i'm gonna get it and it's size what size is this this is a size six so this top like automatically already comes oversized so it's like a it's a blazer jacket and it's leather of course i'm like obsessed 
says, and I think I saw this. Who did I see this on? I saw this on someone. And I literally got inspiration off of it just because I'm like, you could definitely wear it with either like a white crop top, um, some mom jeans, and maybe some Nike Air Forces. I'm like, so like not overdressed, but at the same time, it's gonna be like super cute just because you could always accessorize it up with like necklaces, rings. I could like already picture it. So hopefully it comes out the way I envisioned because I'm super excited for this piece. Okay, so now on to trousers and jeans. So I've never owned a pair. So these are gonna be fox leather joggers. And what I kind of liked about it is just because on the model itself on the website, it was like super casual dress down. She had this paired with some sneakers and just like a basic white tank top or a crop top. So I mean, you could always just dress it up and down however you wish to dress it up, but this is how I'm gonna dress it up on my little video here. And they are cuffed from the bottom. They do have pockets. They don't have no front or button in the front, but they do have a side zipper. I kinda wish it was just like a cuff from the waist so you could just like pull them up versus zipper or button. Um, but it's nice. Hopefully it kinda fits loose because I wouldn't want nothing super fitted. So my last two pieces are going to be denim jeans. So these are washed off distressed denim jeans. What's one thing that caught my eye on these jeans? It was the fact that they have the slit on the very bottom. I'm like, I'm gonna say this a million times. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. But honestly, when I'm obsessed with something, like I go crazy and I get multiple things within that detail. So these have like a slit on the very bottom. And I believe they're mom jeans. If they're not mom jeans, they might be like that loose fit because that's all I've been getting. So hopefully they don't fit super baggy, but they were super cute on the model as well. So that's why I got them. And for my final pair of denim, these were just basic blue denim jeans. I'm like, I really don't have any dark denim jeans, so why not just get some inexpensive ones from Nasty Gal? And they look, I believe they're kind of like fit form fitting. <laughs> they aren't skinny, but they are like on the more like the mom loose fit side. So these are super nice as well. Okay, so final thing that I got was an accessory. So I got this chain silver necklace i mean if you guys haven't been obsessing over chain necklaces you guys are missing out like come on i have a gold one on right now but i'm obsessed with jewelry if you guys haven't even seen my amazon videos on my amazon videos i've mentioned that i've been so obsessed with accessories jewelries rings as you guys could tell but yeah i could definitely go ahead and just either wear it as a very tight choker um loose choker however you wish to wear it but so excited to wear this okay guys so that pretty much wraps up my nasty gal video if you guys did enjoy watching my pics the way i sell my outfits go ahead and give it a thumbs up and on to the giveaway um so i did do a little poll a couple of days ago on instagram which if you aren't following me already go ahead and do that which is xolinda underscore um, but i did a poll which asked some of my subscribers if you guys wish to win a nasty gal gift card or a zara gift card and obviously the Zara gift card won. So in order to go ahead and try to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is pretty much give this video a like. You also have to be subscribed to my channel and you also have to be following me on Instagram, which is going to be listed down below. But when all of those steps are completed, all you have to do is pretty much comment down below your Instagram name. Once that is done and completed, I'll go ahead and reach out to the winner itself, which the last day to enter will be the last day of the month. And I'll go ahead and reach out to you guys. But if you guys are excited as I am, we are now trying to aim 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys are wanting and have not already, go ahead and just subscribe down below. And don't forget to also give this a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.